Anyway, but first, he's the author of countless books, including the Low GL Diet Bible, and most re recently, The Ten Secrets of 100% Healthy People. Nutritional expert Patrick Halford, you're very welcome back to The Morning Show. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Good to be back. For those who weren't with us the last time, mm -hmm. just explain to us what a low GL diet is. Well, the, the basic principle is that when you eat too much sugar or carbohydrates, your blood sugar goes too high, and the body dumps the excess sugar into storage as fat, particularly around your middle. So you want to eat a low GL, glycemic load diet, which keeps your blood sugar level even. There are three basic rules. Number one, you want to pick those foods that do have slow releasing carbohydrates. Bad news, for example, would be bananas, dates, raisins, that's very fast sugar. Well, in the, in the world of fruits, plums, berries, cherries, they're very slow. Mm -hmm. Oats are very slow. A refined cereal would be very fast. You always want to have the brown stuff, so brown rice rather than white rice, wholemeal pasta rather than white pasta. So rule number one is eat the low GL foods. Rule number two is always eat protein with carbohydrate. So for example, if you are hungry and I give you an apple, does it satisfy you? No. Not mm. quite. But if you eat an apple with a, a few almonds or some pumpkin seeds, it's protein with carbohydrate. Or, for example, you have a kipper, you know, with some good Irish soda bread. You know, it really makes you feel full. If you have uh, jam, which is carbohydrate, with toast, which is carbohydrate, it's like putting rocket fuel in a mini. You get a quick <laughs> burst of energy. Then your excess sugar gets dumped into storage as fat. Then your blood sugar comes down. So rule number two, eat protein with carbohydrates. And rule number three is graze rather than gorge. When you wake up in the morning, the worst thing you can possibly do is look in the mirror and go, oh my God, I'm too fat, and swear you'll never eat again. Uh, because your blood sugar is very low. So you're much better off having, for example, some porridge or an oat cereal uh, or you know, egg on toast or something like that. Because if you don't eat, and you'll probably have a coffee because that gives you a little bit of energy. After a while, you'll pass an innocent looking croissant and you'll think that's not much. Well, actually it's uh, 25 GLs, boring on its own. So you have two teaspoons of jam. That's another 10. You've just done 35 GLs. And if you want to lose weight in a day, you need to eat 40 GLs max for the whole day. So graze rather than gorge. Somebody told me once before that if you're, if you're actually entertained at the thought of a croissant, you just might as well have a fully cooked Irish or English breakfast. Yeah. It will have the same effect. It's like putting, just rubbing butter onto your thighs, <laughs> really, isn't well, it? Well, I'll, I'll tell you something very depressing that's just been discovered is, is uh, a study where they gave people a coffee uh, with a carbohydrate snack, like so a croissant coffee or, you know, croissant mm -hmm. on its own. And the combination of the two tripled the blood sugar level. So uh, it's a deadly duo, croissant, coffee. And of course, that's what a lot of us are doing now. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, you know, we are you know, as getting bigger. Beastie is widespread. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Remind us again of some of the foods that were very high in sugar that we didn't realize. Because I know you said bananas, but you also yes. last time illustrated by bringing in a bowl of muesli. Yes, yes. Which we all would have thought was healthy, but is Absolutely. not. Absolutely. So you're trying to get 10 GLs uh, in a meal. In fact, a, a, a rather rotund gentleman approached me the other day. He said, I'm diabetic. I'm following your basic principles. I'm gaining weight. You know, what am I doing wrong? And I said, what do you eat? And he said, I eat oat muesli. Oats are good, aren't they? I said, yes, they're very good. Uh, but there are raisins in it. And as we saw, there are 65 raisins in your <laughs> average bowl of muesli. That is 30 GLs. It's very high. And I said, do you sweeten you know, your muesli with anything? He said, yes, I have a, a banana. It's good, isn't it? Well, a banana is very fast-releasing sugar. Fantastic if you've just played a game of football or yeah. you know, climbed a mountain. But if you're just sitting there doing nothing, it's another 15 GLs. So uh, he had already done 45 GLs just from the banana and the raisins, but, but the oats were good. So it's a matter of learning. And uh, you know the book GL Diet Bible, and in fact, we're going to be doing a workshop uh, here in Ireland on this. You've just got to learn the principles. It doesn't take long, and once you've got them, you feel them because mm -hmm. not only do you lose weight, but also you gain energy, and you feel less hungry, and uh, your craving for sweet foods goes away. And you know, ultimately, you're not gonna stick to any diet unless you feel good. And the real reason why people gain weight is they get hungry, and then yes. they eat. Mm -hmm. Okay.